Hello everyone, welcome to MS Subti webcast. In this video guide, we are going to configure PPTP VPN on Windows Server 2019. For this demo purpose, I'll be using two Windows Server 2019 virtual machine and one Windows 10 client virtual machine which is all running in VirtualBox. This is the domain controller WS2K19-DC01 and our domain name is mylab.local. The IP address of our DC is 172.18.72.5. This is the our second server 2019 VM with the host name WS2K19-VPN01. This server is also part of our Active Directory domain malab.local with the IP address 172.18.72.7. On this server, we are planning to install and configure a routing and a remote access service. This is our Windows 10 client machine. This video guide is majorly divided into four steps. Step number one in which we will install routing and remote access server role on our member server. Step number two, we will configure routing and remote access service on our member server. In step number three, we will create a user account in our active directory to test VPN. And in the last step, we will test VPN functionality on our Windows 10 client computer. So without wasting time, let's jump to step number one in which we are going to install routing and remote access server role on our member server. This is our member server WS2K19-VPN01. Let's click on manage and select add roles and features. Click on next. Next again. Here as you can see our local server is selected. Let's click on next. From select server role console I'm going to select remote access. Let's select checkbox. Click on next, next again, next and here I am going to select direct access and a VPN. Let's select the checkbox. It is going to add certain other features that are required for a VPN. Let's click on add features to add those features. Click on next, next again, next and click on install to start the installation process. After installation process is finished, Click on Open the Getting Started Wizard. On Configure Remote Access, I am going to select Deploy VPN Only. That will open Routing and Remote Access Management Console. Let's maximize it. So step 1 is completed successfully in which we have installed Routing and Remote Access Server Rule. Now let's move to step number 2 in which we are going to configure PPTP VPN on Routing and Remote Access Management Console. Right now, as you can see in the front of your computer host name, there's a red sign. That means we haven't configured routing and remote access service. To do that, we need to right click here and select configure and enable routing and remote access. It will start a new wizard. Click on next. Here, I'm going to select custom configuration. From this console, you can also select remote access, dial up or VPN, or you can select virtual private network VPN access and NAT. But to keep this video short and straightforward, I'm going to select custom configuration. Click on next. Here I'm going to select VPN access. Fine. Click on next. And click on finish. It will ask us to start the routing and remote access service. Let's click on start service to do that. It will take a few seconds to start the service. Once the service is started, you'll be able to see green color in front of your host name and which we can see here. Fine. As we have used custom configuration, that's why we need to set up certain configurations manually. And for that, I'm going to right click on a host name of our member server and select properties. First of all, here you can verify that the server is acting as a IP version 4 router. And here this checkbox is selected. That means this server is acting as a remote access server for IP version 4 as well. If you want to enable for IP version 6 as well, you can from this console. Now I'm going to click on IP version 4 tab. Here we need to set up the IP addressing which will be used in VPN connections. For this, you can choose whatever DHCP and static address you want. For this guide, I'm going to select the static address pool. Let's select this and click on add. Here I'm selecting range 10.10.10.12, 10.10.10.10. These are total 10 IP addresses. 
So from this static IP address range, VPN server is going to assign the IP address to VPN client. And by using that IP address, VPN client can communicate with VPN server. Let's click on OK. And here you can see static address pool has been specified successfully. If you want to set up other things like logging, that time you can click on this tab. And here as you can see, log errors and warnings are already selected. But if you want to generate logs for all events, that time you can select the checkbox log all events. Fine. Click on apply and click on OK. One more thing which we want to modify is numbers of ports. Here you can verify certain ports are already open on our VPN server. Let's right click on ports and go for the properties. By default in Windows Server 2019, as you can see, SSTP ports are available ports are actually two for IK version 2 to port L2TP, PPTP, PPPoE and GRE. Only two ports are there. If you recall in earlier version of Windows Server, that time those numbers of ports are 128. So suppose if you want to increase the numbers of port for PPTP, that time you need to select when mini port PPTP. Click on configure and here you can specify number of port which you want to use. Fine. But we are just going for the testing purpose and that's why two ports are enough for us. Let's click on OK. Click on apply and click on OK. Let's click on remote access clients. And as you can see right now, we don't have any remote access clients. Fine. So now we have successfully configured PPTP VPN for Windows Server 2019. Our step two has been completed successfully. In step three, we're going to create a user account to test VPN functionality. Let's go to server manager. We are on our DC. Click on tools and select active directory users and computers. On active directory users and computer console, as you can see already, I have created one OU with the name test user accounts. And under that, I have two users with one security group. Both users are member of the security group test users. For this guide, we will use the credential of our test user one. Let's right click on this user account and go for the properties. Let's click on dial in tab. And here I'm going to select this allow access. Why? Because we are not going to configure network policy server with certain policies. In future videos, we'll definitely see how we can allow access through NPS network policy to VPN users. But as of now, I'm going to select allow access. Why? Because we are not using network policy service. Fine. Click on apply and click on OK. We'll also use the credential of our test user 2 because this uses network access permission is set to control access through NPS network policy. Okay, so step three has been completed successfully. Now let's move to step number four in which we are going to taste VPN functionality. But before we do that, let me remind you again, we are using test environment to test PPTP VPN in Windows Server 2019. Suppose if you want to configure PPTP VPN on your production environment, that time after completing step three, you need to open certain ports in your firewall based on the protocol. Suppose if you are using PPTP, that time you need to allow this port through your firewall, which is TCP 1723 for PPTP and protocol number 47 for generic routing encapsulation. If you are using LTTP over IPsec, that time you need to allow this port from your firewall. So make sure these ports are accessible from client computer which are connecting to your VPN server. Let's move to our Windows 10 client computer. So on client computer, first of all, I'm going to right click on the start button and last select network connections. On network and internet settings console, I'm going to click on VPN because we are going to add a new VPN connection or you can say a dialer. Let's click on add a new VPN connection. Under VPN provider, let's click on this drop down menu and select Windows built in. Under connection name, you can specify the connection name as you want. Okay, uh, now under server name, you have to specify the public IP address of your server. But we are using a test environment in VirtualBox, and that's why I'm going to specify the local IP address of our server, which is 172.18.72.7. Again, I want to repeat this thing. 
that this Windows 10 client computer is in a same network as our VPN server because we just want to taste VPN functionality. If you are using this in a production environment, that time you need to specify the public IP address of your VPN server. Under VPN type, let's click on this drop down menu and select PPTP. Later on, we will also see the how we can configure L2TP, IPsec and SSTP VPN as well. Here I am not going to specify username. So now I am going to click on save button. Okay, our dialer has been created successfully. Let's click on it. Here we have a certain options. To see those options, we need to click on advanced options. Let's click on edit. So if you want to edit your VPN connection, that time you have to click there. Let's click on save. Let's go back. Let's click on this uh, VPN connection and click on connect. It will ask us to provide the username and password. We are using the credential of our user 1. Let's click on OK. And now you can see client has been successfully connected with our VPN server. As you can see the status is connected. Let's verify the same thing on our VPN server as well. Let's right click here and select refresh. And here you can verify that mylab slash user1 at mylab.local has been connected with our VPN server from past 16 seconds number of port which is using in one that you can verify from ports as well you can see one active port is there for a pptp let's move to our domain controller now let me show you on active directory users and computers we have set the property of our tcs user 1 to allow access and let's see for tcs user 2 dial in which is control access through nps network policy so now i'm going to use the credential of tcs user 2 and uh, which is set to control access through NPS network policy. Let's disconnect this. Let's try to connect again. And here you can see our user's credential is catch on our Windows 10 client computer. And that's why it is connected automatically. Let's click on disconnect. Click on advanced options and I'm going to clear sign in information. Fine. Let's go back and try to connect to VPN connection. Click on connect. Let's specify the credential of our user 2. Click on OK. And this time we are not able to connect it because that user doesn't have permission to connect to our VPN server because by default network policy service is going to deny remote access requests from all other users. Let's set it to allow access and let's try to reconnect again. And that's it. As you can see, our user 2 has been connected successfully. So that's it for this video guide. So in this way, we can configure PPTP VPN on Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video.